Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name's Victoria and I have a special video for you today. I'm gonna share 25 items that I sold on Poshmark in June of 2020 for over $40. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, stick around. Those of you that are new here, my name is Victoria. I'm a full-time online fashion reseller. I sell vintage and modern clothing. Modern clothing can either be pre-loved or it can be new. And I sell on apps like Poshmark, Etsy, Mercari, and eBay. And today I'm going to share with you 25 items that I sold on Poshmark in the month of June. So June of this year, 2020, that sold for over $40. Now I've never done a video like this before, but I'm really excited to share this with you. I find these videos super helpful. Just a little disclaimer, just because I'm able to sell something for $40 or over doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna sell for that amount for you. There are plenty of brands out there that other resellers are able to sell with great profit margins or move really fast that I can't sell in my closet. For some reason, those brands just don't work for me. So take this information with a grain of salt. This is just one reseller's experience, but it also can be helpful when you're outsourcing brands. Uh, you may find a brand that you've never heard of or that you've never sourced before, or you pass up sometimes, and maybe you'll second guess picking it up. So I'll pop up a picture next to me of each of the items so you can see what it looks like. But the first item that I sold in June for over $40 were these Diane von Furstenberg animal print wood block sandals. And they were really, really cool. The leather wrapped around from the insoles all the way around the back of the heel. So they had calf fur in a leopard print on the straps of the sandals. I thought they were darling. As soon as I found them, I was like, these are so trendy. I've never seen the wood blocking heels this way. These are definitely gonna be a good seller. Unfortunately, they sat for a long time. Like, I think I purchased these at the beginning of reselling last year, and they just sold in June of this year. So that just goes to show you sometimes items are super cute, but will sit for a while. This pair of shoes did sell for $40. So after Poshmark fees of $8, that means that I made $32 on these shoes. So the next item that sold for me for over $40 in June were these BOC by Born leather knee-high riding boots. BOC is actually the less expensive line of Born, but my buyer actually had been looking for these boots in her size. They were her favorite boots and she wore hers out. And so she did purchase th these for me for $40. So after the $8 Poshmark fee, I made $32 on these. I can tell you I picked these up at the bins in Nashville. So they were like a dollar something. So I made a nice profit on these boots. Next up are these Lita Free People ripped straight leg jeans. I bought these retail arbitrage. They sold for $50. After Poshmark fees of $10, I made $40 on these. I love this style of Free People. Not every style of Free People will sell for over $50, but these were super cute and on trend. The stock photos were awesome. They had graphic tees on, super trendy. And so I did make a nice profit on those. If you're new to my channel, you might not know this, but I sell a lot of mod cloth because although I love vintage, I also love vintage inspired. I wear it personally. This was a mod cloth skater skirt that I actually had had since last year. There's a company here in Mississippi that gets a ton of mod cloth liquidation. And so I'm able to buy these items new with tags for a very discounted price. Even though this skirt sat for a while, I still made a nice profit on it. I sold the skirt for $40 after the $8 Poshmark fee, and then I gave a $2.12 shipping discount. I made $29.88 on this skirt. I believe I picked up the skirt for about $4, so that was a nice profit for me. Mod Cloth is definitely a brand I recommend picking up. A lot of the dresses will sell for over $50, and you're gonna see a couple more in this video that I sold, so definitely be on the lookout for Mod Cloth. This next item is also another retail arbitrage. I do a lot of retail arbitrage. This was purchased from TJ Maxx during their big discount sale at the beginning of the year. These are some Zara high-rise crop jeans. They were in a black wash 
and in a size 10. So I thought, oh, those are gonna do great. They sat for a while, about six months, but they did sell for $40. And after the Poshmark fee, I made $32 on them. So that was a good return on my money because I think I paid about $3 for those. Zara is also one of those brands that not everything's gonna sell for over $40 but the really trendy stuff can sell for over $40. So that's something to think about. This next item I actually found out about because during quarantine, a neighbor had donated a couple bags of items she bought at the Denver outlet, Goodwill Bins. Back when she lived there, she's in the Air Force, so she transferred here to where we live in Biloxi. And she had these bags of stuff that she purchased when she was reselling. Well, I was surprised to find that this Pendleton bag, it's its called the Dop Shoulder Bag, was in there and it sold super fast for over $50. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is a new bolo for me. Well, my first day going out sourcing after quarantine was lifted, I was standing in the checkout line, which was 30 minutes long. I have a video of that. I'll link it below. But anyway, I happened to spot another one of the Dop Shoulder Bags from Pendleton. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got to get it. And it was maybe $6, but I ended up selling it very quickly within two days for $52. And after the Poshmark fee of $10.40, and I gave a shipping discount on that of $2.12, I made $39.48 on that bag. So great for a quick flip on my first sourcing adventure after quarantine. The next item that sold for $50 on the mark with a $10 Poshmark fee were these Prada perforated leather kitten heels. They were sort of a dated style, but I got them in one of my DIY designer boxes from ThreadUp. So I was happy to see them go to a good home and they were really cute. They were a pretty red color. They did have a little bit of damage on the toe. Um, on the point of the toe, but I was able to fix that with a little work and my buyer was super happy with them. So it was a win-win. I don't really think it's a big surprise that Prada would sell for over $50, but again, this was a dated style and I didn't want them sitting. So I was fine with $50 for this sale. The next item is something I would not pick up again, especially for the price I paid for it. And I'm totally embarrassed to talk about this one sale. Okay. So it was a pair of Seven for All Mankind dojo jeans. Now we all know the dojos. These were a special rare dojo that had grommets on the seven on the back pockets. So I thought, okay, these are gonna sell fast because they're a rare kind of dojo. And I had them listed since last year when I had started reselling and I had paid $19.99 for these at the thrift store. Why I did that, I have no idea, but we all make mistakes and learn from them. I definitely would not do that now. They did finally sell for $40. After Poshmark took their $8, I made $32. So if you take out the $20 I paid, I still made $12. So at least I wasn't out money, but oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed to even say I paid $19.99 at the thrift store for a pair of dojos. What the heck? All right, here's Mod Cloth again making another appearance. Unfortunately, this dress sat for a long time, but like I said, that's okay. I buy these dresses liquidation and I'm fine with holding on to them. When I first started reselling, I bought tons of Mod Cloth. I mean, I went crazy. I spent several thousand dollars buying so many Mod Cloth pieces. Some of them I paid $20 for and they instantly flipped for over $100. So I was really happy because I was making an $80 profit on them. But unfortunately, this was one of the dresses that sat for a while. It's still fine. I still made a profit on it. So I'm okay with that. But it was this Mermaid Fit and Flare by Mod Cloth. It was sort of like a novelty print that had mermaids all over it. But it wasn't as bold as some of the other novelty prints that Mod Cloth puts out. So I think that may have detracted from the dress. But this dress did sell for $50. After the $10 Poshmark fee, I made $40. So if you deduct the $20, I made a $20 profit on this dress. Again, nowadays, I don't pay $20 for Mod Cloth dresses unless it's the wedding dresses or a special like collaboration dress, maybe with Collective or another brand like Emily and Finn. But other than that, I'm not going to pay $20 for just a regular Mod Cloth dress. And so lesson learned, but at least I made money on it. 
So if you're used to watching reselling content, especially haul videos or what solds, you have heard other resellers, I'm sure, say that even Birkenstocks in terrible condition will sell. As long as they're not completely falling apart, somebody will buy them. And so I picked up these. They were not in the best condition. Normally, I would not pick up a shoe that has this much wear to them, but it was at the Nashville Vins. I only paid a couple dollars for them, and I actually ended up selling them for $50, even with the wear. So that tells you be on the lookout for Birkenstocks because even the used ones will sell. So these Birkenstocks sold for $50 and after the $10 Poshmark fee, I made $40 on them. So that was a great profit for me. Okay, another mod cloth item that I sold was this bikini top. It had these adorable daisy appliques around the edge of it. And it had this sort of like poofy sleeve that you could wear off the shoulder. I thought it would be great for festivals, even though we're not having a lot of festivals right now because of COVID, but it would be great for festivals. It would be great for, um, for beach to restaurant looks, things like that, because you could pair it just with a pair of high-waisted shorts and wear it as a crop top. It was so stinking cute. So anyway, I was able to sell just the top. Remember, this isn't a total bathing suit for $50. That's right, I sold a mod cloth bathing suit top for $50. So after $10 Poshmark fee, I made $40 and I think I paid $2 for this. It was brand new with tags. I did get it from that liquidation company, but super happy about that. I don't think that all mod cloth bathing suit styles would command 40 or $50 selling point, but if it's really cute and on trend, you better believe someone's willing to pay. This next item I also picked up in Nashville, and I did not get this at the Vins, but one of their regular stores. I think I paid about $4 for these shoes, but they were Mark Fisher. Now, Mark Fisher makes some trendy brands, but they don't always resell for tons. So anyway, I sold these for $50, and then after the $10 Poshmark fee, I made $40 on them. I was really happy to see these move. They were some cute little nude pumps. I don't pick up tons of Mark Fisher. I'm very picky about the style, but I felt like this was an everyday shoe that like somebody could wear to the office or out. And so I went ahead and picked that up. So right before we went into quarantine during the stay at home, I knew it was coming. So I headed over to that liquidation store and they had just gotten a bunch of department store stuff in and some of it was free people. Now, normally when they first get stuff in, it is priced really high and then the price will start to go down after a month or two. But I did go ahead and buy some stuff, even though it was new, because they had these beautiful maxi free people dresses that were made of this really heavy cotton. So they weren't the really lightweight that you would normally expect from free people. These were nice, consistent, heavyweight dresses and they were beautiful. So, and I picked them up for about $10 a piece. So they're all new with tags and I got a bunch of different styles and colors. This dress is called the Anita High Low by Free People. I sold this one for $65 after the $13 Poshmark fee. I made $52 and then my cost of goods was around $10. So that was a nice profit on that. I still have some others for sale in my Poshmark closet and on my eBay store. They're in different colors though than this um, peach color that sold. All right, next mod cloth item I sold was from the liquidation store and it sold for $40 after Poshmark fee. I made $32 and I believe I paid about a dollar or $2 for this dress. It was super cute and perfect for the season. I love the stripes. I love the material of the dress and it was just adorable. So I was happy to see it go to a good home. This next Mod Cloth dress is in a newer brand that Mod Cloth has just started carrying. They're an Australian brand and they're called Princess Highway. I really like their designs. This was a super lightweight cotton dress. It had a dandelion print all over it. It was so cute and had a little tie waist belt. I sold this dress for $52 with a shipping discount. And so I made $39.48 on this dress, but I only paid a dollar for it from that liquidation company. So I made a nice profit on this dress also. And it was adorable and went to a great home. I got a nice little love note. Love that. 
You may have seen these Vionic sneakers in a previous video where Oliver and I did both a record shopping trip, a vinyl challenge, a Goodwill shopping trip, and then a Goodwill haul. And they were actually in my size. They were adorable snakeskin sneakers by Vionic. Vionic is a great brand to know and to pick up. They sold for $45 and Poshmark took $9 of that. And so my profit was $36 on these shoes. And I had to really stop myself from keeping these. They were so cute. For a long time, I had the hardest, hardest time selling Lululemon. I know that's hard to believe. You will hear so many resellers talk about how their main profits are Lululemon, but I don't sell tons of athletic wear. I, like I said, sell a lot of vintage and vintage inspired. I sell a lot of dresses and skirts, really feminine silhouettes. And so I don't sell a lot of athletic wear, but that has changed since quarantine. So the same neighbor that gave me the bags from the Denver Goodwill outlets, who used to be a reseller, also gave me one full bag of 40 items of Lululemon. And so anyway, I have a video of that. I'll link it below in case you want to see it. After selling a bunch of that Lululemon, it sort of reignited my wanting to find it at the thrift store. And I picked up two matching skirts from Lululemon the same day on my first shopping trip back out after quarantine. And the first one was this one that sold almost immediately. This is the pleat to street in a grapefruit color. It was this pinkish orange, super cute pleated skirt with little shorts underneath. And I sold it for $40 with a shipping discount. And so I made $29.88 on this skirt. And I only paid, I think, $3 for it. So that was a nice profit. Are you surprised? I have another mod cloth dress for you. It is a yellow rainbow dress. I picked up this dress in several sizes from the liquidation company here in Mississippi. I paid about $2 a dress for these. This one sold for $70. Poshmark took 14 of that. And so my take home was 56. And if you minus the $2 I paid for the dress, I made a nice $54 profit on this dress. And I still have several in different sizes listed in my stores and closets. So love this dress. Again, love selling mod cloth. And yeah, I don't really have anything else to say except for wow. All right, next item are these adorable Madewell paper bag shorts. They had a cute tie belt and they were in a pretty, pretty orange color. I picked these up retail arbitrage from Nordstrom Rack in New Orleans. I also have a video where I went with my girlfriend, Alicia, over at Murray Life. Gosh, do I mention her in every video. But she and I went to Nordstrom Rack on a sourcing trip in New Orleans and I did pick these up. They unfortunately sat for a long time. I was really surprised, but they ended up selling for $40. And after a Poshmark fee and a shipping discount, I made $29.88 on these. And I was super happy to see them go. They were adorable. And I still pick up Madewell whenever I see it because I do have a really great sell-through rate with Madewell. But for some reason, these just sat a little bit. But anyway, they went to a good home and I'm happy. Okay, another mod cloth item. This item actually sat for almost a year. <laughs> And I actually have it in another size because I was able to pick up another one of them for about a dollar. It was a mod cloth and a sweet collaboration dress. And I didn't mind that it sat there. It was new with tags and these dresses usually need to have a specialized buyer. Anyway, it does. It did eventually sell for $100. And after the $20 Poshmark fee, I think I paid about $12 for the original one. Um, the second one, like I said, that I still have for sale in the same size, I paid a dollar for it. But that one I actually paid $12 for, but I still made it a really great profit on it. So I was very happy to see that sale. And I totally did not mind that it had sat there for a year. I don't mind holding on to my mod cloth pieces because, like I said, I know that sometimes it takes a specialized buyer to appreciate these items, and that's okay with me. I have room to store them. So this next free people item, I again purchased retail arbitrage from the liquidation company, so I paid up for this item. They were these adorable June short alls, so they were little overall shorts. And they were precious. They had some distressing on them, a raw hem. I thought they were so cute. 
but definitely when I took them home to take the measurements, they had a very short inseam. The, you know, they definitely would, would only work for certain body types. And so I think that's why it sat there for just a little bit longer than I thought they would. But they did end up selling for $45. And after Poshmark fee, I made $36 on them. So still a great sale. This also goes back to how I was talking about some free people items will sell for over $40, but not all of them. It depends on how trendy they are. All right, next item that sold for over $40 was a brand that I just adore. And I know my girl Brittany over at Shop Foxboro does too. She just loves this brand. I actually per purchased this retail arbitrage from ThreadUp during the quarantine. And this is a brand called Driftwood. They have been carried at Anthropology and Mod Cloth. They do super cool embroidery on denim. I just love them. They... The detail that goes into their pieces is incredible. This was a denim tunic dress and it had embroidery on the front and the back, very reminiscent of Johnny Was. It's super cute and it sold for $50. Poshmark took 10. I believe I paid $10 for the dress. And so my profit ended up being $30 after Poshmark fees and my cost of goods. So I was really happy about it. And it sure did pretty up my closet while it was there. <laughs> All right, the next item was one of my first purchases after quarantine. This was a Lily Pulitzer sheath dress. It was in a bright, vibrant pink tweed with gold threading in it. I only paid a few dollars for it at the thrift store. I sold it for $60 with the $12 Poshmark fee. And so my take home was $48 before cost of goods. It was a super fast flip. This dress was a newer Lily Pulitzer style. And so it sold very quickly and you can't beat that. All right, another mod cloth. Again, this was one of those dresses that sat forever. Like I bought it last year from the liquidation company, but it did finally sell for $75. Poshmark took 15 of that. And so I took home $60. I still have this dress in at least one other size. I might have it in two sizes, not sure. But um, overall, really happy with the sale. I just wish it would have moved a little faster. <laughs> All right, and sale number 25, you know it, it's mod cloth. And this was one of the newest mod cloth pieces that I picked up right before quarantine started. I paid a dollar for this dress, you guys, a dollar from the liquidation company. And it is a cotton dress. I actually own this dress in several prints. I love it. It's like a nice everyday dress that you can wear you know, around the house to run errands, very comfortable. And this was in a pastel stripe. It was an awesome plus size 4X, so I was so excited to see it sell. It sold for $60. Poshmark took 12 of that, and so I was left with $48 minus the dollar cost of goods. I made $47 on this dress, and it was a nice ending sale for the month of June. So I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it, seeing some of the items that I was able to sell for over $40 a piece. If you have any questions about sourcing, how I source, what I pick up, those sorts of things, definitely leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for stopping by our channel. We love to see you here. We appreciate your support. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you stick around. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.